Welcome to Workout Anywhere. Hey, Workout Anywhere team. Justin Rundle here, and I'm going to take you through another four core. So, as you know, our four cores are literally one of the most efficient and effective ways to train your entire core, so your abdomen, lower back, and hips. And today we got four exercises that will do just that. So, basically, we're going to start with a plank, and that's the plank with an alternating leg raise. And I'll show you that real quick. So, I'm in a plank, traditional plank, keeping my core tight. I'm going to squeeze and kick my leg back, squeeze those glutes, and switch. I'm going to do that for a minute, and then I'm going to do the old Russian twist. So, I can either have my heels down, the further back I lean, the more advanced I am. I can have my heels up to make it more difficult. I'm twisting my whole torso side to side. As many times as you can for a minute. Then we're going to do another back exercise, a lower back exercise called the X-Man. So, very similar to the Superman, except you're laying like an X. So, arms and legs apart, coming up and squeezing in the lower back and contracting and breathing out. And then last exercise, the double ab crunch. So, it's a reverse crunch and a crunch in one. Heels touch the ground, come up, crunch, come back down, and then repeat. Alright, so we're about to begin. I'm going to get my timer out. And here we go. <laughs> Spin move. Okay, there it is. Plank position. Kick that leg back. Try to squeeze those glutes. Ideally, lead with your heel. Control your breathing. Okay, Russian twist. So you can start with your heels on the ground if you want. Just go side to side. But if you're more advanced, you can lean back further and hold your feet off the ground. Now we're gonna go back on our stomachs to the X-Man. So laying just like a Superman, coming up, breathing out. Got my thumbs up and my heels up. You can really focus on my lower back doing the work.
almost there you guys, keep it up. Okay, so just like the crunch, but with a reverse crunch too. Try to bring your knees to your elbows. Heels come down, shoulder blades come down in between. And when you crunch, you're gonna breathe out. Good job, you guys. So, probably by now you're realizing four minutes is enough to get your total core training in. Um, so, if that's too advanced for you, it's kind of some advanced movements. Um, we have plenty of beginner, intermediate ones on our site, also on our YouTube channel, just ask us. But yeah, so that's gonna be a great way to get your core in shape and in balance. And please subscribe, um, share our channel with your friends. It's more than worth their time to put four minutes into their core. So. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. Welcome to Workout Anywhere.